Hi, Greg Alderman, welcome to One Voice Board. Today I wanna to walk through some board behavior proverbs. Uh, these are uh, my own set, if you will, things that I've collected by working with church boards and nonprofit boards through my reading, through the School of Hard Knocks, trial and error. It's the kind of wisdom that we gain from living life and observing the way God has created the world. In fact, in James chapter one, verse five, we are told this, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. There is this aspect of being able to listen to God and, and observe what's happening in, in human dynamics, in policies, in the way uh, conflict works itself out, in the way decisions are made, things that we can learn that can help us get better. So I'm gonna share these Proverbs in several parts and I hope that you're blessed. And here's the first proverb. Attendance is expected and by attending, you are saying that you're prepared for the meeting. Attendance is expected, and by attending, you're saying that you're prepared for the meeting. I want you to think about those words with me for a minute. You know, I've observed a lot of folks, first of all, take attendance at board meetings as if it's available, if it fits my schedule, okay? Clearly, if we're gonna serve on a church board, which is doing the gospel work, it's doing the life-changing work of uh, saving people, of, of, of having people become a part of the life of Jesus Christ. Uh, we can't treat attendance at a board meeting as being optional. But as you can tell from that proverb, I'm not just talking about physically being pre present. Attendance is not just physically being in the room. Attendance means I'm present, I'm participating, I'm listening, I'm listening to the voices, I'm listening most importantly, the voices of others, and I'm listening most importantly, to God's voice. Attendance means I'm prepared. I've done the work in advance. I'm prayed up and I'm, I'm, I'm there to make a contribution. I'm making my time count. I'm not, I'm not just biding my time until the meeting is over. And I'm making my presence count by interacting relationally with my fellow board members. You know, one of the things that bothers me, I, I studied science once upon a time and there's something in chemistry called Boyle's Law, which means a gas will expand to fill the space in which, it, in which it's uh, a part. And in other words, the gas will equally distribute itself throughout the room. Boyle's law when it comes to board time management is if we set three hours aside for a meeting, we're gonna use all three hours and probably exceed it. You know, regardless of how much time you set aside, you don't have to use all the time. And part of that attendance of being there is just realizing we don't have to fall into the trap of the Boyle's Law for boards. Well, here's the second proverb. The board doesn't need to know everything that's going on, but it does need to know the principles that drive what's going on. The board doesn't need to know everything going on, but it does need to know the principles that drive what's going on. What do I mean by that? Well, many of you have heard me say this before. When I was leading church boards, I would always tell people, I only know 10 to 15% of what's going on around here but I know how to find out more than 95% by going to talk to the people and understanding uh, the relationship of the question or the thing that somebody's commenting to me about into the overall structure. What leader is responsible for this? What area of ministry is being affected? It's knowing the principles that drive what's going on versus trying to know everything, which of course we know is impossible. Here's proverb number three. The board's primary job is to point toward what the organization is supposed to be accomplishing and not micromanaging the staff. Well, if you're studying policy governance, if you're with me on this, then this is probably one of the things that brought you into this realm in the first place. It's falling into that tyranny of the difference between governance and management. A management board is overseeing and micromanaging its staff, telling its staff what to do, giving it every instruction, every detail, everything that it wants to see happen. But if it's doing that, it's not focused on the main thing, which is setting goals and direction. The most important work the board does is that it sets goals and, and it points towards what the organization is supposed to be about. And that leads me to proverb number four. The board sets goals and describes expectations, but does not give instructions. Listen to that again. The board sets goals and describes expectations, but does not give instructions. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna look at this one a little closer. Think about it. It sets goals and describes expectations. This is what we call ends, okay? 
What are we focused on? What's the organization about? It does not give instructions. Those are what we call means. The way something is done, the manner in which the goal is accomplished. When the board gets focused on the means of accomplishing a goal, it's losing its focus on the main thing that it's supposed to be focused on, which is goal development. And then I'm gonna close this particular volume with the fifth proverb, board expectations must always be described at the broadest possible level. Board expectations must always be described at the broadest possible level. Think about this, if, if you've studied the principle five, uh, big bulls before small bulls, this is the big bull concept. What's the broadest possible way we could put a limitation or describe a policy versus getting down into the proverbial weeds and doing, uh, doing the work on, of our staff on their behalf? We need to set expectations, provide a lot of space to accomplish those goals, and, and then always move forward at the broadest possible level. Hey, if this has been helpful to you or you wanna ask questions about anything I talked about in this video, or if there's something I can help you in your organization in your board development, don't hesitate to reach out to us at greg at onevoiceboard.org.